In this video, I'm going to talk about the new feature available within Microsoft Power Platform named as Recycle Pin. Now, this has been the ask by many developers, many uh, Power Platform users since long, and Microsoft has uh, uh, acknowledged that with this particular feature. Now, Recycle Bin, Recycle Bin allows you to restore the deleted records in Dataverse table within a specific time period. Now, it allows records deleted uh, via cascade behavior relationship uh, now, there are multiple ways through which the records can be deleted. Now, as this uh, feature is in a preview state, so it is a bit limited. However, it does what it's supposed to do. Now, recycle bin, what, what, what do you mean by recycle bin is like from a dataverse perspective, if you have a table row and if you accidentally delete that table row, either uh, a single row delete or a bulk delete or a multiple selection delete, it will allow you to restore that record within a specific period of time, okay? So if uh, the maximum uh, days you can set uh, for the recovery time interval is 30 days, however, you can uh, uh, configure it uh, from one to 30 days accordingly. Now, first thing, what you need to do is like you need to enable the feature, okay? So enable the feature and then set the recovery time interval. Now, what happens in the back end is like there are couple of tables which are involved in it. So there are two tables. One is deleted records reference table and restore deleted records configuration table. Deleted records reference table holds the deleted record, uh, kind of a recycle bin. And restore deleted records configuration will allow you to configure uh, the recycle bin per table. Okay. Now, just to uh, uh, give you a glimpse of where you can configure the setting. So in if you navigate to a Power Platform environment and if you navigate to the products and features, then here you will be able to see uh, at the very bottom recycle bin, which is in a preview state currently. Here you need to turn this enable recycle bin for Dataverse table on. Now, once you turn this on, you get an option to configure the recovery time interval up to 30 days. So you can pick up from one to 30 days and then then remember to save it, okay? Once you save this, and if you perform any deletion operation uh, post setting up this setting, then uh, if you navigate to the environment, and then from there, if you go to data management and view deleted records, which is again in a preview state, you should be able to view the deleted record. And then from there, you can restore the record. So here, this is how it will look like. So let's assume this is the deleted record post setting up the recycle bin uh, feature. Now you select this record and then once you select this record, you should be able to restore uh, in the top menu. The option comes up to restore, which I'm going to demonstrate that shortly. Backend table. So backend table, which are linked to this is deleted record reference and restore deleted records configuration. Now deleted record reference will hold the record which is deleted. So it will have a uh, an attribute like uh, what is the display name of the record which is deleted, when it was deleted, who deleted it, uh, and if there are any attachment attached to it, uh, deleted record or reference number, status, status reason, and then there are multiple other fields as well. Okay. Now, from a restore deleted records configuration, here you will see list down of all the tables which is available within your system, and then from there. Uh, uh, there is an, another column which is called as is ready. So by default, everything will be yes. You, sh you will not be able to edit this table um, from the back end. So uh, just uh, this is just for your reference purpose, okay? Now let's uh, jump into the demo. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, let me show you, yeah. Okay, so environment. So navigate to any of your environments. So take for example, if I'm navigating to, uh, say say girish preview us environment over here now here in this environment i've already set up so if i navigate to the setting and then from here products and if i navigate to features from here if i just scroll to the bottom here i should be able to see that functionality recycle bin preview admin can view and recover any deleted record within a configurable time period up to 30 days now if this is disabled admins will not be able to view or recover any deleted record Okay, so disabling this feature could take uh, almost up to 10 minutes. Okay, that's what uh, the uh, time is mentioned over here. Now you can enable recycle bin for dataverse tables. Uh, 
configure recovery time interval now if you turn this on turn this off uh, then uh, you know like the feature updation might take some time so that's what is mentioned over here that uh, disabling this feature could take up to 10 minutes uh, okay now the, in this environment it is already enabled so if i delete any dataverse record table in this environment which is a girish preview us environment then uh, i should be able to view the record okay uh, which is deleted so how to view that so you go to the environment uh, again go to the settings and then from here under data management there is an option to view deleted records so if i click on view deleted records then i should be able to view the record which was deleted now i did this ahead of time i deleted a couple of records and uh, i restored so i'll show you how to restore the record so you select this record and then a restore option will come up and then you can restore this record now uh, let me uh, show you in live uh, how to set up those so i'll pick up some other environment so let me go in and pick up say uh, girish prod environment okay so this is a prod environment so what i'm going to do i'll go to the settings and then from here uh, within the settings product features and i'll turn the recycle bin on so recycle bin preview on and then i'll put the configure recovery time interval to say maybe 25 days okay and then i'll click on save so girish prod environment uh, the recycle bin is turned on now if i want to view the deleted record what i'm going to do i'll again go to the settings and then from here settings data management i'll see view deleted records and this is how i view the deleted record now as i have turned this feature on so there is no deleted record okay so what i'm going to do is uh, i'll navigate to uh, one of the table now if you see this table there is a table airlines which is in girish prod environment okay now i'm going to delete a couple of records from here but before i do that i need to show you a couple of uh, other things uh, let me go to power apps make dot power apps and then maybe i'll just duplicate this tab and i'll select the right environment which is girish prod and i'll go to the table and then from here within the table i will search for uh, click on all and i'll search for delete now here i'll see a couple of table deleted record reference and delete restore deleted records configuration so i'll select restore deleted records configuration and in the other tab i'm gonna open the other table so that's deleted record reference so i have two backend table deleted record reference and restore deleted records configuration okay now if you see over here restore deleted records configuration uh, i should be able to see whether that uh, uh, the, the table which gets involved in the deletion process is ready or not okay so this is for that and any record which gets deleted will get displayed over here now there are multiple columns which you can uh, enable like deleted by deleted object deleted on deleted record reference modified by on deleted records so like this you can uh, view the deleted record over here directly in the back end or if you navigate to the correct environment so here from here if you select view deleted record this is one and the same thing okay so the table which you see over here and the table which is uh, displayed over here for deleted record reference are same okay so what i'm going to do i have this app open which is linked to the airline table app so here what i'm going to do i'm going to select a couple of records so first i'll select one record and i'll delete this record okay so i've deleted emirates record and i'm going to delete sri lankan and american airlines i select multiple and then i'll delete it okay so it has deleted now three records now let's go in this uh, deleted record reference table and try to refresh this and see whether that deleted record appears or not so it might take a while uh, for that record to appear there are multiple ways through which you can view the back and deleted record now here uh, if i navigate to the settings and if i go into view deleted record and if the setting is turned on then you should be able to see the deleted record over here now 
these are the three record which i have deleted one is i deleted just by single uh, line item the airline said emirates and i've deleted a couple of records by multi select so whatever action you do uh, the deleted record will be available over here now if i want to restore this record then i'll just select this and i'll click on restore okay now if you see the deleted record was uh, uh, deleted on 10:16 am okay now if i restore this I'll click on restore and if I navigate to my app so here and if I refresh this app then I should be able to see the record and it does not tamper the created date so it is an actual restore now there are a couple of XRM toolbox tool available which does the same functionality but then it creates a new record but in this case it is actually a recycle bin kind of a restore and that's why it does not impact the created on date so if you see over here and that's why i'd say it's a it's kind of a true recycle bin for dataverse uh, application so like this you can uh, delete the record and you can restore the record in the back end so this is how you basically uh, use uh, the recycle bin functionality for power platform that's it folks thanks for watching